Photoshop Elements 9 was just introduced with a fantastic new feature. With this version of Photoshop, you can now add a layer mask to any layer. And layer masks will come in handy for any task you want to do, but especially for making composite images. In this lesson, I will show you how to make a composite of three images using layer masks. To set up this composite, I set my camera on a tripod, and then I took three pictures of myself sitting on the sofa using the self-timer. So here's the first picture, the second picture, and the third picture. We are going to use layer masks to combine these three pictures into one and create a composite image of three of me sitting on the sofa. So let's go back to the first picture and open the panel bin so that we can see the layers panel as we work. Let's also open the project bin so that we have access to the other photos. To begin, let's drag and drop another image above the first image. And this is the image of me sitting to the left of the sofa. Notice how the second image appears on a layer above the background layer and completely covers the background layer. Let's add a layer mask to this layer. At the bottom of the layers panel, there's now a new icon to add a layer mask. And when you add a layer mask to a layer, a white square will appear to the right of the layer thumbnail in that layer. The layer mask allows you to make parts of the photo on the layer transparent so that you can see the pixels from the image below. If the layer mask is completely white, it means none of the pixels are transparent and you can see all of the pixels in the layer to which it's attached. But if you paint with black on the layer mask, you make those pixels transparent to show the image below. So black will hide the pixels on the current layer. White will show all the pixels on the current layer. Let's click on the layer mask thumbnail to select it and then choose black as the foreground color. Choose a large soft round paintbrush and in your photo just paint over the center of the image to reveal the image of me from the photo below. Let's now add the third Karen to the image. Click and drag from the project bin above the second layer and notice that the new image we've added now is completely hiding the two images below. Click to add the layer mask to that layer. Click to select the layer mask and now with black as the foreground color choose a set large soft round paintbrush and set the opacity to 100%. Now click and paint over the parts of the image that you want to reveal. Let me explain that because this image was taken in the same location with a fixed camera that the background for all of these images of me is exactly the same. So it makes it easier to show and reveal the image below because parts of the background be, will be exactly the same. I've noticed that by mistake I painted over my legs with black. So I've hidden those and revealed the layer below. To recover that, I can switch the foreground color to white and paint with white to show all the pixels on the current layer. Suppose I wanted to make a ghostly image of myself. I'm on the layer where I'm on the far right and I wanted to just kind of have a ghostly image of me. Let's paint with black and lower the opacity to 36 percent. Now as I'm painting with black you notice that that part of the image is becoming transparent and you can see some of the background behind me. So that when you paint with shades of gray on the layer mask it reduces the opacity of the layer that you're on. 
A good thing about a layer mask is that it is separate from the image to which it's attached. It makes for non-destructive editing because you are not actually changing any of the pixels in the picture. You are just changing the opacity by using the layer mask. If I deleted or disabled this layer mask, I can disable the layer mask by pressing shift and clicking on the layer mask. It goes back to the original photo and shows what the original photo looks like. If I then press shift and click again, I get back the changes that I've made. Let's go in again and let's choose white as our foreground color, use the paintbrush, and let's bring back by clicking on here and making the opacity 100%, I am bringing back the entire original image. So using layer masks, we were able to easily combine three images into one to create a composite image. You will find that using layer masks is an essential part of your editing process. And I will be sharing more ways to use layer masks in Photoshop Elements 9 very soon.